Welcome back to Smartwatch, where we approve of the all-female Ghostbusters cast. So reports of Google possibly launching an MVNO are rampant, but just how exactly the internet giant pulls this one off is a mystery. Yeah, it's a big idea that sounds great, but how exactly is Google planning on implementing this? Will consumers choose between a pair of plans, i.e. Sprint and T-Mobile rebranded as Google One and Google Two? Or will Google come up with a hardware scheme that supports both networks and seamlessly switch between the two? According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, Google has opted for the latter. The journal says Google is working on phones that will seamlessly jump from Sprint to T-Mobile to Wi-Fi depending on which offers the strongest signal. I'll believe it when I see it, but if any company can pull it off, it's probably Google. One of the more interesting aspects of these reports is their implications for the industry at large. Yeah, if Google can really make a plan out of tying together Sprint and T-Mobile's networks, isn't that essentially a merger workaround? I mean, isn't that basically what Sprint has been wanting to do ever since Masayoshi-san took over? It's about the size of it, Ben but it would also allow Sprint and T-Mobile to continue operating their separate businesses. But I wonder how Sprint and T-Mobile will deal with all that additional traffic. There's talk that financial terms of an agreement between Google and the carriers could be revised if Google brings X amount of traffic to the network. Right, in most wholesale agreements, the price per bit that Google would pay should go down as it buys more data. But what if Sprint or T-Mobile have to invest more in infrastructure to meet the demand? Could the carriers actually raise the price of data for Google if it brings too much traffic to the networks? All good questions, Andrew. And perhaps it's best if we wait for an actual confirmation from Google to speculate more? You're probably right, Ben. But here's yet one more little bit to chew on. Paul Carter, CEO of Global Wireless Solutions, recently posited whether this kind of arrangement might give Google more incentive to improve a bandwidth-intensive application like YouTube. Yeah, good point. Google hasn't exactly had a reason to make YouTube any more efficient when it's primarily been sucking up bandwidth on someone else's tab. Well, that's about all the hypotheticals we have to throw at you this week. Ben, I think we've got someone special waiting on the line for you right now. Flip phone chats. Oh, wow. It's Kim Kardashian. Hi, Ben. Uh, hey, Kim. Glad we got you on the phone. After watching your new Super Bowl ad, uh, we think you might be a perfect fit to host SmartWatch. Really? Yeah, absolutely. How much is T-Mobile paying you? We can match at least $20 an hour and all the sriracha-flavored wheat thins you want to eat. Well, that's all the time we have. Come back next week when Kim will take Ben's place as host of SmartWatch. No, really. Really. Who are they going to cast to play the female Slimer? <laughs>